This week's is The Fate of Fausto, which is a painted fable by Oliver Jeffers, one of Poppy, my granddaughter's and my favourite illustrators. He's really good on the story as well. Okay, are we ready? There was once a man who believed he owned everything and set out to survey what was his. You are mine, said Fausto to the flower. I think the guy's name was Fausto. Yes, said the flower, I am yours. Content. Fausto walked on. Look, there it is. In his pocket. Get it? You are mine, he said to the sheep. Yes, said the sheep. I suppose I am. Feeling satisfied, Fausto walked on. Next, Fausto came upon a tree and declared, Tree, you are mine. To which the tree replied, Oh, all right, I can be yours. And the tree bowed before the man. This pleased Fausto, and he walked on, happy to be owning a sheep, and a flower, and his tree. Before long, Fausto had claimed a field, and a forest, and a lake. At first, the lake had pretended not to hear, but Fausto showed the lake who was boss. When he reached a mountain, Fausto said in a clear voice, Mountain, you are mine. No, said the mountain, I am my own. This angered Fausto, and he stamped his foot and made a fist. Still, the mountain would not move. But Fausto put up such a fight, he would not believe, sorry, but Fausto put up such a fight, you would not believe, and showed the mountain who was the boss. Eventually, the mountain bowed before Fausto and said, yes, you are in charge, I am yours. Feeling very important, Fausto easily conquered a boat to set off to the sea. For a mountain, a lake, a forest, a field, there they are, look. A tree, a sheep and a flower were not enough for him. When he got far enough from the shore, Fausto said in a loud voice, See, you are mine. But the sea was silent. You belong to me, see. I know you can hear me, said Fausto still louder. And after a while, the sea said quietly, You do not own me. You are wrong, I do, Fausto replied. Unsure which way to look, for the voice appeared to come from everywhere. But you do not even love me, said the sea. You are wrong again, said the man. I love you very much. But Fausto was lying, and the sea knew it. How do you love me when you do not understand me? The sea asked Fausto. You are wrong a third time, said Fausto. 
I understand you deeply. Then added, feeling impatient, now admit you're mine, or I will show you who is boss. And how will you do that? asked the sea. I will stamp my foot and make a fist. If you wish to stamp your foot, then come to show me how it's done so I understand. And in order to show his anger and importance, Fausto climbed overboard to stamp his foot on the sea. But he did not understand. <laughs> he did not know how to swim. The sea was sad for him, but carried on being the sea. The mountain, too, went back to its business. And the lake and the forest, the field and the tree, the sheep and the flower carried on as before. For the fate of Fausto. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Did not matter to them. The fate of Fausto.